Let's consider a box on which a constant force is applied. Because of this constant force, the box will move through a displacement. We have already discussed, for a constant force, work done can be calculated by the product of force and displacement. That is, W is equal to F into S. Now the question is, how do we calculate work done by a variable force? To understand this concept, let's first try to understand what is the result of the area under the force. Displacement graph. Let's consider a force. Displacement graph, and let's say the force is varying with the displacement, which is represented by a straight line. Now, let us try to calculate the area under this graph. You can observe here that the area under the graph is a triangle. So for this case, we need to apply the area of the triangle formula. Here, the height of the triangle will give the force applied, and the base of the triangle will give the displacement. Let's apply the area of the triangle formula. The area of a triangle is equal to half of the base into height. Just substitute the value of height and base, and we will get area is equal to half of S into F. Rearranging this equation, we will get half into F's into's. Here you can observe that on the right hand side, we are getting the product of force and displacement. It means that we are indirectly getting the work done. From this, we can say that area under force and displacement will give the work done by the variable force. Now, let us consider a graph between force and displacement. And you can observe that the force is variable. In this case, to find out the area under the graph, we can divide the area into small rectangular pieces. In that, consider a rectangular strip. If you take this side of the rectangle, you will get the value of force that is f of x, and if you take this side of the rectangle, then you will get the small displacement, that is delta x. Now, just find the area of this rectangular strip, that is delta a is equal to f of x into delta x. Here, you can observe that on the right-hand side, we have the product of force and displacement. It means that we're getting the small work done for a small area. Now, to calculate the total work done, from the initial point xi to the final point xf, we just need to integrate between the limits xi and xe. That's how we calculate the work done for the variable force. In the next video, I will be explaining the work, energy theorem for a variable force. Thank you.